Right, welcome back. I think the lens has got a scratch on it, but hopefully it won't cause us any trouble. So I'm in the barn. I've taken the drill off and put the first spinner on. I've got some nitrogen that needs spinning and some keys are right. But what I need to do, it's also got to be MOT'd as well. It's got to have an NSTS test. Yeah, NSTS, so I can MOT. And last time I was using it, the, the PTO, the guard on the PTO shaft fell to pieces. Uh, so I took half of it off. And now we've got a new one. It's just that I've got to take all this to pieces. Well, we've actually got a whole new PTO shaft because this is so rusty. That's not going to last long. One of these UJs, and I, that, <coughs> that slip clutch is just going to fall to pieces soon. Even the gearbox is quite rusty. The only thing that's not rusty is the chain that's in here because I do put chain lube on that. But I want to take all these stainless guards off and clean out in there, really, because the fertilizer gets stuck in there. So, yeah, I've been hammering it, I've been levering it, tried levering it off. There's a pinch bolt there, and when I put a spanner on the head of it, it just snapped off. So I'm gonna to have to drill that out. I think I tried hammering it off, but it didn't budge. Um, here's the new one. It's just this pinch bolt here that, that's holding it on. So we'll get the drill and have a go at drilling it. It's Saturday morning, 26th or 27th, I think of March. We had a wet day yesterday. Um, that's why I'm not in a rush to get out in the fields. We had about 10 or 12 mil of rain. Eric's coming to see me now because I've sat down. <laughs> Go away. I'm trying to put the camera down. You're going to knock the camera over. Um, go on, go and get in the van. Get up. Yeah, we had a load of rain yesterday, which wasn't ideal. 10 or 12 mil, I think. Um, so yeah, a bit naff. I didn't find any safety glasses, but I did find some gloves to keep my fingers safe and warm. It's cold today, cold this morning. Uh, I want to go like this. Lovely cold. Must be almost there. It's going in pretty deep now. So I've just had it soaking with WD-40 for about half an hour and uh, we'll see if it budges now. If not, we might have to go and get the oxyacetylene and heat it up and see if we can get it to budge that way. out beat the heck out of it it's all right it's probably gonna, gonna need a new gearbox soon anyway so <laughs> bearings were okay you probably notice I took the, this cover off I'll take the, the other one off as well because all it does is hold fertilizer inside it Right. 
new as well seized on there. I'm gonna get the new one. Hopefully it's just grease in the gearbox because I can't see any way of uh, draining the oil out or checking the oil level. So yeah, hopefully it's just greased, packed out with grease. Eric's come back again. Eric, go and get in the van. Get up. Get up. Oh, we're going to need a spanner for that. I've greased it, the PTO shaft. We'll get an Allen key to and a spanner to tighten that up. Put the guard on. That'll be jobs are good. Alright, she's all done, back together. Um, I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. And if those of you that don't know how these work, you've got the, the drive coming from the tractor, PTO shaft, spinning at 540 RPM. Shine the torch off here. And then that goes into that gearbox, splits the, splits the drive like a T-piece. One drive goes that way, one goes this way, spins and uh, spins the discs, which then chucks the fertilizer out. Very simple. Very simple. I shall leave those stainless guards off because it means that I'll be able to get it cleaner in future. This is pretty rusty. It's hard to get it it's completely, completely spotless when washing it. Okay, now we're working on the Bateman on the back of the tank. The other day, ow, the other day it sprung a bit of a leak on this. So we've got an electronic, uh, what would we call it, a valve switch or something like that. It's controlled by air. And there's a little shaft here that turns inside that T piece, and there's a valve in there. So the seal that right in there started leaking fertilizer the other day when I was on liquid fertilizer. So I've got a seal kit. Um, I've never done this before, so we're just going to take it apart and try and remember how it goes back together again and put some new seals in. And yeah, we'll do a bit of a time lapse and then take it to pieces. Right, so I've got the valve off now. Can you see in there, look, where it switches? You can actually see a hole in it, it's worn out. 
but the only bit that was leaking was that seal right there so I'm going to take all the pieces now and put all these new seals in o-rings Okay, we're getting somewhere now. We might have to watch the video back to work it, remember how to put it back together, but we're getting somewhere. We're getting there. Oh, that bit's just jumped out. He's jumped out. Hey. We haven't got one of those in the seal kit. But we do have one of them, which is that one. So maybe we'll have to put that little white bit back in again. Right, it's all back together now. All I've got to do is look at back at the bit of video when I took it off and see what position it was in, because I need to put it back on the same way as it came off. So we've got an opening here at the moment and an opening there. And then if you twist it that way, we've then got an opening in that one and that one. Okay, we're all back together. Now we just gotta run it up. Check for leaks. I'm not going spraying today, I'm going fertilizing. Uh, on the key. It's on the key. The key's got stuck, there we go. First thing we do is turn the PTO on, which turns the pump on. We'll check the pressure. Use this to build the pressure up. Got a gauge in there, look. Got the pressure up four bar. That'd be a good, good enough test. Press this button to operate that valve. Uh, I'll stick you to the. I'll stick you on here. I'll stick you on there, and then you'll be able to see that it operate the valve.
leak, so that's good. And it worked. Right, so I'd say that's another job done. Pleased with that. I let the booms down. Uh, I'm going to put it back in the other shed and then I'm going to have some lunch and then go fertilising this afternoon. <laughs>